Okay, I'm gonna be real with you. Going into this video kind of made me realize that people don't give a shit about original content these days. I mean, the companies who make the original content don't even give a shit about the product either, but come on! I mean, Netflix makes some pretty good stuff. I mean, let's take a look at what we have here. Yeah, let's see, let me... I mean, we have... Chilling Adventures of Sabrina, Stranger Things, F is for Family... Wait, the, there's a little smudge at the bottom of this page. It seems to be a picture of someone? Let me just smudge it off. <laughs> Wait. Archie? A abs? He's... He's... Sexy? Now that we're done with my idiotic bit at the beginning of every video, and doesn't make sense and is the equivalent of a fart joke. Where would a comedy show be without a few fart jokes? This is fun! Let me ask you something. I know I say, let me ask you something at the beginning of almost every video, but listen. I don't give a shit anymore. My channel nerds suck my nuts. Okay, but on a real note, Life is so convenient for everybody now, and to be honest, it sucks. It, it sucks. Well, not entirely, but you get what I mean. What the fuck are you talking about? What happened to the days before Uber Eats and Skip the Dishes, where you actually had to go out to eat with your family instead of ordering Panda Express and getting it delivered to you by a guy who sells weed in his band to fucking high schoolers? And what happened to the days when you brought your DS to school, playing Super Mario 64 DS in the back of the class, hiding it when your teacher walked by was one of the best rushes I had as a kid. This new wave of technology has ruined our social skills and how we interact with people. And frankly, it's ruined even what we value in life. And don't call me a boomer, I'm not a fucking boomer! But as a teenager in 2019, and beyond, even I can see the cultural impact that smartphones and game consoles have on this day and age in society. I mean, game consoles are fucking sweet, but still, people can use their phone to have sex now. That was a game changer back in the day. I mean, you could just call a person to have sex now. Two swipes on a scream, yada yada yada. You could be on the phone like, hey, you wanna have sex? Totally, I wanna have sex. Yes, let's have sex. EPIC! Life has become so convenient that it gives you the mindset that you don't even need to leave your house anymore. You become stuck in an endless loop of, I need this, but I don't want to go out and get it. Wow. Amazon is a thing and I could just do that. But you know what? It's unhealthy. And you know what I miss most about back in the day? Cable TV and blockbusters. Those were some of my best childhood memories. I mean, gathering around a TV to watch Sharkboy and Lava Girl on Nickelodeon was the fucking best on a Friday night. I mean, you can't get that on Netflix, Hulu, and all this other stuff. I mean, Netflix has everything you need, but sometimes that's not a good thing. Having so much choice and accessibility makes you unsure with what you want to do with your time or unsure with what you want to watch. And the mindset that you could just click click a movie away and then watch another one instantly makes your time and effort not worth it. And you lose the experience of actually watching a movie that you enjoyed. It gives you nothing to be left to the imagination and gives no room to explore and see new things with a new perspective. And with so many streaming services now offering different things from different companies for different amounts of money and bundling all these movies from Disney, Star Wars, and Marvel into one deal is amazing, but it's just molding back into cable TV, but not with the same feeling that it used to have. Call me blinded by nostalgia, but walking into a blockbuster and having to choose what you wanted to watch and having it mean something instead of just click, click, click and you're there is an experience that future generations won't have. And it's sad. Everybody now is just separated. 
and alone watching their own things. What happened to watching things on cable with your family the right way? Waiting in anticipation for Adult Swim to come on at late nights was the best. And oh my god, commercials. People were so bugged by them, but to be honest, I miss commercials. Seeing products that people wanted to sell me and seeing new shows being advertised that I was interested in was something I always loved to see. What happened? Being all alone and binge watching stuff all by yourself seems sad and lonely. Don't get me wrong, Netflix and Hulu are great platforms and I'm even considering getting Disney Plus for all the Marvel movies. I, I love Marvel movies and I'm glad they exist, but people aren't using them the right way. Moderation is key when it comes to enjoying something. When you enjoy something, it shouldn't be an everyday thing. That's why fucking drugs are bad. Yeah, drugs are bad, kids. If you use something every day, it just loses its magic. Once a week, I like to sit down with my mom and dad and just watch movies. The right way. In moderation. Once a week. Not every day. There's lots of great stuff on Netflix. Stranger Things. Uh, Riverdale, if you like that. F is for Family. Uh, the Fundamentals of Caring. One of my favorite movies of all time. That is a Netflix original. It's all there for you to see. But it shouldn't be something that you should see all the time. Hell, if I went to every single movie in theaters, I'd be broke right now. But I don't, because it's something that I like to moderate and enjoy on my free time. But on my free time, I like to do other things too, instead of just watching movies all the time and having so much accessibility. I like to go out to eat with my friends. I like to go outside. I like to just have a nice time, ride around and talk with them instead of secluding myself in my room and just watching movies all day. That's what I used to do, but I'm happier now. Do things that you enjoy, but moderate them. Because if you do them every day, and if it's too accessible to you, it loses its magic. That's what I think about almost every day. I don't always eat chocolate. I don't always eat spaghetti, even though spaghetti's the fucking best. Spaghetti. Spaghetti. But I moderate it because if I eat it every day, then it's not good for me and it's unhealthy and it loses its magic, like I said before, which I repeated tons of times. But you get my point. When it comes to watching, listening, and talking with your family, it's sort of a necessity. It's something that you can't live without. Social interaction is the fundamentals of being a good person and having a healthy life. And sitting down once a week with your family to watch movies and talking and having a good time is something that you can't get being alone. And I think it's healthy for you to enjoy that. It regains some of the values that you've lost from being antisocial and being secluded and having random sex with people on Tinder. You know who you are, you fucking slut. Hey! I guess my final point is... Enjoy what you want to enjoy, whether it be movies, video games, or having sex with people on Tinder. Just don't forget the important values that you need. Friends and family. And talk to them. And be nice with them. Because you're not going to get that chance when they're gone. Sorry that was a little bit of a bummer, but it's true. Value the things that are important. Don't just seclude yourself and watch movies all the time. <laughs> Thank you to my editor, Dmax, for editing this video. As always, he is super sexy and I love him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Fuck. Anyways, I'm Smeef and I'll see you later. Silas Brand.